Hello, I'm David Kerr, and welcome back to Rapid Conversation. We've been having an excellent conversation with E.J. Thornburg, a Clinton for President, part of our continuing series, Office of the Campaign, representative of the folks. Now, Colonel Thornburg is here representing the Clinton for President campaign. He's got an excellent discussion about the Clinton record in the Senate, and then Secretary Clinton's record as Secretary of State. And we're getting a very good discussion about what's called the Smart Power. And I really can't include that conversation without asking how would Smart Power and how would her fairly uh, strong uh, approach to the type of power that uh, Vladimir Putin is wielding, how would that translate into her role as president and dealing with him? Well, I, I, again, I'm not a um, uh, campaign spokesperson. Uh, I'm an independent citizen, and I have these opinions on my own that I've um, that are based upon my own personal research and my own personal background. Uh, so I, I just want to make it clear, I'm, I'm not a campaign spokesperson. Right, right. Yeah, I understand. Uh, um, but it, it is my opinion that her adoption of smart power as, as a policy within the State Department uh, went a long way in the accomplishments that she achieved while she was Secretary of State, including um, the, the work done with the START Treaty uh, bringing uh, the Russian leader and uh, the Russian negotiators to the table effectively because uh, smart power is, uh, is laid out by um, the Center for Strategic uh, Information Studies, uh, CS, International Studies, I think it is, CSIS, uh, in a study they did back in 2006 looking at uh, 2006, 2007. Uh, looking at smart power as a policy for the country, which, which is, which boils down to a basis of uh, Teddy Roosevelt's uh, old motto of walk softly and carry a big stick. Uh, and I, I think that Hillary adopted that, I, d I don't think, I know she adopted that as the policy for the State Department in negotiations with, uh, around the country, around the world, uh, whereby diplomacy and um, interactions with other countries and partnerships play a, a, a hugely significant role, but no more so than having a strong military and a strong capability to back it up. So the big stick was always there, and as a former military guy, that, that part was, uh, was important to me. Um, it, it, it was opposed to, you know, others in the past who just wanted to have the big stick, and um, and we're not too concerned about diplomacy. I mean, we've always had a reputation of the ugly Americans, but diplomacy under under Hillary Clinton had a lot uh, as Secretary of State um, had a lot of accomplishments, and and it's my opinion that she will adopt that and carry it forward um, as the next president of this great country. Well, thank you for that answer. It's very informative. Uh, we're getting into the campaign. Well, in Virginia, we're, we're coming right up on it uh, for the primary. And uh, so this is kind of a campaign question, observational question. Uh, Bernie Sanders and uh, uh, Secretary Clinton have been going at it pretty strong. Uh, most of the negative probably more on the, uh, on, on on the Sanders campaign part. Uh, do you think that's going to have any particular negative effect in the fall, or is it going to be pretty much forgotten? Well, um, I, I do have an opinion on, on that, and again, it's, it's my opinion. But um, the, uh, the personal attacks and the personal um, uh, bantering and rhetoric that's been going on is, is really different between the two sides. Um, uh, one, one of them is coming on with character assassination and character attacks on ethics and honesty and trust. Um, which are um, not generally found on the Democratic side of the ticket. Mm -hmm. um, the other one, which is uh, Secretary Clinton, is not questioning ethics or judgment or um, trust or honesty. She's questioning policies and positions on issues. And that's what a campaign is supposed to be about, is policies positions on issues, uh, in, in my opinion, not on character uh, assassination. 
So um, I, I don't believe that once Hillary has locked up the nomination, mm -hmm. that it will be a problem for her because she has not been uh, attacking him personally um, or character-wise. She's just been questioning and digging into the issues. And hopefully, everybody that's a voter is going to be looking at the issues and not other unimportant stuff. Well, you know, it kind of begs the question, uh, having watched the GOP candidates yeah. kind of in a, a yeah. almost circus environment going after each other, do you feel that that will be a problem for them in the fall? Uh, well, well, I, I do. Um, and, and I will tell you that um, so, so far it's my opinion uh, from the things I've seen that Hillary has taken the brunt of all of the negative ads and negative attacks that the, that the Republicans basically have to offer. Uh, and, you know, I'm uh, pleased to say that she deals with it in a very positive way. Uh, and Bernie, on the other hand, hasn't had to deal with it at all. He's pretty much gotten a free ride. That makes me wonder why. Why, why is it that the Republicans want to attack Hillary and they don't want to attack Bernie? I, I've got to tell you, God believe they'd rather run against Bernie than Hillary because they, uh, they will turn the gates loose once uh, if he were to be the nominee. Well, uh, and that that's, uh, begs a good question as we get ready for the break. Uh, how do you feel uh, Secretary Clinton will do against a likely Trump nomination? Yeah, I, I think she'll, she'll do extremely well. Um, she, is, uh, she is not afraid to take people on. She is not afraid to take the issues on. And when she has gotten into the debates and, uh, and, and things of that nature, she, she has the ability to focus on the issues and not get involved in the, the, the petty personal attacks that, uh, that, that go down. And, and that, that's what uh, uh, Mr. Trump is, is really big on and big about. Uh, I haven't seen any depth in his arguments about issues. Uh, all I've seen is his, uh, we're going to do wonderful things and we're going to build wonderful things. And oh, by the way, he went bankrupt four times. And so I'm not sure I want him deciding how my country is going down that road. So in, in a nutshell, if we have about 30 seconds left, do you think uh, he's capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bernie in the fall? I, I think she will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him uh, very capably and very effectively. Uh, and, and I think it, at the end of the day, this great country will decide Hillary has proven record. I, I don't think any of the other, any of the other four candidates, all of the Republicans, have the ability to reach across the aisle and accomplish it. Now that note, I don't want you to reach the remote. Stick with us. Next section. Right back, talk more about the campaign and wrap up our broadcast. Stay with us, please.